Hello everybody and welcome to our latest special interview. Now machine vision is something that typically people have expressed concern about integrating into their systems. A lot of it is because people don't really know the full inside and out of what's going on. Well today we're with Mr Craig Jones of Zebra Technology and we're going to ask Craig a little bit about how they help people with this transition. So Craig, can I ask, Zebra software and hardware, how do you address the learning curve associated with understanding um, and operating advanced vision systems? And so yeah, so what, we've, what we have done is basically we've developed a lot of our software from scratch. So we are aware that a lot of the tools and machine vision can be quite complex. So what we've done is really simplified them. So the best example I have of this is if you, for example, have an iPhone, all the apps are really easy to use, but the programming language behind it is actually quite complex. That's what we've done in uh, Zebra Technologies. Okay, so we've taken the software, we've used really easy flow and um, flow charts, kind of drag and drop technologies that almost makes it look like you're using an app, but actually the, the, the programming language behind the tools um, are quite complex. So we've simplified it as, as much as we possibly can. Um, so within Aurora Focus, you can literally log on and use some kind of straightforward machine vision um, quite quickly. That sounds really encouraging, really encouraging. So how does Zebra ensure that its vision systems are scalable and adaptable? Uh, obviously, there's varying needs for machine builders, system integrators, end users. How do you help them with the different levels of technical expertise? Honestly, Andrew, it's quite a big problem um, to go from OEMs to systems integrators to end users um, with the different levels of maintenance and accessibility. It can be quite a problem. What we have at the moment in Zebra is we've got multiple software platforms across some of our products. So we've got Aurora Focus, we've got uh, Aurora Design Assistant, and we've got Aurora Imaging Library. Okay. So Aurora Focus is out the box, really simple to use kind of um, smart camera technology. You can have a simple machine vision task up and running really quickly. We've then got Design Assistant, which is a little bit more complex. It has slightly stronger tools uh, and you can build a system from scratch. Now, okay. end users might not want access to that straight away. So maybe the maintenance engineers, the systems integrators, um, maybe they want access to that. So we have that available to them. And then we've also got Imaging Library for the what I call the clever people, the programmers who really want to kind of delve into the background of machine vision yeah. applications. Um, so yeah, we've got different multiple levels. Okay. Now, Craig, this is going to open an awful lot of uh, questions for people. Um, this video is just a short snapshot of, of things. Where can our readers go to find out more? Yeah, so I look after the UK uh, and Ireland across for machine vision and imaging. So honestly, I'll be the first point to call. So craig.jones at zebra.com will be ideal. Um, I'm sure you can link the email as well. Um, come yeah, to me and then I can direct direct any kind of um, inquiries in the, right, in the right direction. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks ever so much, Craig. That's really helpful. So if you've enjoyed watching this, you'd like to find out more, drop Craig a quick note. He's happy to discuss with you and put you on the right track and help with uh, some of these issues because clearly machine vision is such an important part of uh, modern manufacturing now. So thanks ever so much, Craig, and we look forward to seeing you on the next video.